we're trying to like give this like <laughs> some it, intensity. It, it's tough, right? Well, it's, like, it's like, like I would in mud in a giant fat suit. <laughs> Welcome to Good News Show. I'm Ryan. And I'm Stuart Edge. And you're watching uh, The Good News Show. Um, as always, we do videos based on positivity and we just want to make your day a little bit better. Uh, this whole entire week has been on unusual sports. We did Quidditch. We did um, wife carrying. We also Which we carried each other. We carried each other if you want to watch that. And then, oh my gosh, what was yesterday's? Uh, wife carrying and then what did we do? I don't even remember. What was yesterday's episode? Do you remember or you, did you forget like I did? Welcome to the Good News <laughs> Show! <laughs> Pause, episode. Real quick. What was it? I don't remember. What's, I no what did what we just do? <laughs> we just talked about what it. What did we just talk about? Oh, chess boxing. Uh, but yeah, today is going to be on uh, a sport that's famous in Wales called bog snorkeling. I really appreciate your dedication to figuring out the episodes, but next week I will figure out the <laughs> bog snorkeling. <laughs> what is this? I'm surprised you you lost it now. I thought what you'd lose this? it after chess boxing. What is it? Yeah, chess boxing. No, that one was okay. Yeah, I you'll had... be in charge of the theme next, <laughs> no, next time. You, yeah. You really so uh, so bog snorkeling. Um, what? That, with chess boxing, I had some sort of oh, yeah, idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. But bog snorkeling. Yeah. So I'm... bog, which is like a swamp. Okay. And essentially, they they Bog. they dri they dig a trench. It's all muddy and swampy. They put on snorkeling gear and they race each other. Bog snorkeling, which I've been snorkeling before. Racing and snorkeling that's that's hard. And in the ocean, it's a lot cleaner, you know, where they do it. But bog is a bunch of swamp and mud, so it's even harder. You really got to push, which is really tough. You're having a tough idea, wrapping that around your mind. Would If you were in Wales, would you do it? Like if someone came by and was like, hey, would you want to do some bugs? I can't do a Welsh accent. I want to do some bug snorkeling. I would be like, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I would, I'd be like, there are a lot of other things we can do. Why don't we start this new sport called chess boxing? Okay? <laughs> Everyone get in a line. Yes. I'm going to make this giant square. I don't know. It's interesting. But then going back to what I said in the, in the other episode was that you, you think it's weird, but the, the sports like this, you know, um, show that the world is a very creative place and people are creating things. And you never know, never know which sport is going to become uh, a good thing. So let's go into bog snorkeling. What is bog snorkeling and what are like the facts about it? Like, Yeah, so it started in the uh, mid 70s. A bunch of people were just sitting in a bar in Wales and they thought of this idea of basically, I'm sure maybe someone came back from Hawaii or something and knew about snorkeling and they basically said, why don't we do snorkeling over in this bog or this swamp? And then it just kind of took off from there. How so, did they become to think, let's make it a sport and a competition? I don't, people just, they sit in at bars and came with an idea and then you get more people involved. It, it is important to say though that it's not like chess boxing the others. This is more of a fun, like okay. they just kind of get together and do it. Got it. It would be kind of like a Tough Mudder or one of those. It's not like the Iron Man. Which the whatever. Tough Mudder probably started off, it's a very dedicated thing now yeah where it's, they have it's a lot difficult of, but i'm sure in the past it's like what you guys are running 13 miles in the mud yeah bog snorkeling could become and that's exhaustive thing. like not only snorkeling you know you're racing with snorkel gear or the snorkel gear it's, it's hard in the water but you're in mud so it's even <laughs> more difficult we're trying to like give this like <laughs> some it, intensity it, it's tough right well, it's, well, like, it's like snorkeling I wouldn't... in mud in a giant fat suit i mean God, I, that's it'll be tough i think i think so so a little little interesting stuff about it. it's a 60 meter trench which is essentially essentially like um 120 yards something like okay. that um it's a trench that they build and they race each other um and the world championship for men's and women's and children's leagues is held every year so they do the different ones. Basically in Wales, there's a couple other countries that do it, but it's really big um, in the country of Wales. Next time I'm in, when is the competition? I'm gonna go to Wales and I'm gonna try bog snorkeling. Yeah, I think it's in the summertime. I'd be able to look that up and yeah. we, yeah, that'd be we'll fun. Wales. We could do a video of you doing bog snorkeling. Over yeah. There. That'd be awesome. But we really should. So just to know the record you have to beat, Patty Lamb, who's a guy, Bat Patty Lamb finished the Irish Championship event in a time of one minute 19 in September, 2016. Wow. He currently holds the record. Wow. So maybe you go over there and try to beat Patty. These interesting sports uh, remind me of this video I saw where 
um, there was a sport where people would go and chase a block of a uh, big roll of cheese down a hill. Yeah, and then I think whoever gets to the bottom gets the cheese, which I wouldn't want to eat cheese that rolled down a hill. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's just like, but I love that a lot of these are to raise awareness about something and are for charity, which bog snorkeling, um, it's, it's uh, they do it for charity. 100% raise for charity, yeah. That's really cool. I think that's that falls in line with kind of our mission. Like we are trying to just do good. Do something good. I yeah. mean, there's nothing wrong. It's just a bunch of people hanging out, snorkeling in a swamp. I think it's yeah. fun. But I think it was a great message of this whole week that I've, that I've thought about with all these sports is, yeah, like if, if you've got a dream, something you want to do, don't let people like us who make fun of chess <laughs> boxing, don't let us hold you down. Like you can really... You can create it, and, and the, the great thing is they have a fan base. There are groups of people that enjoy that sport. Oh, right. It's not yeah. just some dude who does some weird thing. It's a collection of people that say, yeah, that's something I will support, and I'll, and I'll compete in it. I think that's wonderful. We're horrible people laughing. At, 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 well, it, well at, especially oh, with the bog, you'll see with the videos, they have a good time. They, yeah. they know it's kind of silly and fun. Yeah. It's our insecurities that we're like, some of those people have fun laughing. And how often have we had yeah, ideas? But, yeah. How often have we had things that we want to do, but we're worried of this social rejection that we haven't done it? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow for a special Fan Friday episode where we feature one of you guys, the fans. Uh, and yeah, and always um, share, like our videos, let us know your thoughts. Let us know an unusual sport that you've that you uh, have researched or participated in that we didn't talk about. Really interested to know all of that. As always, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And again, thanks for watching. I'm Ryan. And I'm Stuart. Go bog snorkel today. See ya. Go bog snorkel. Do some bog snorkeling. <laughs>